The 90 Day Fiancé franchise has been renowned for its love saga since its inception, and cast members have been accused of intentionally damaging or destroying their relationships. It's not hard to get caught up in the drama that these international couples find themselves in, but some TLC viewers strongly believe that certain members of the 90DF talent pool have set themselves up for failure. Certain stars and alums are getting shade for stirring up trouble in past or present romances. Sometimes, it feels like certain 90 Day Fiancé cast members never learn from their mistakes. Throughout the show's history, several notable 90 Day franchise couples have refused to take the blame for how their relationships crashed and burned. There are numerous reasons why couples choose to participate in the show, ranging from true love to attention-seeking. While some relationships stand the test of time, others lead to bitter breakups. There is usually some doubt from one half of a 90-day fiancé franchise couple. For example, many of the American reality stars wonder if they're being used so their partners can access green cards. Sometimes, cast members from outside the USA feel homesick, and this sets the stage for bumpy relationships. Even though there are tips for navigating the waters of a long-distance relationship, viewers are often surprised at how many of the cast members give up altogether or sabotage their own romances. Sumit Singh. Sumit is on the current season of 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way, and he is not impressing Jenny Slatner viewers. The couple's May-December romance has not been their only hurdle, as Jenny had to fight for her in-law's approval. When it comes to making Jenny his wife, Sumit has been dragging his feet for over 10 years. First, he revealed to the Palm Springs native that he was still married. Then, he was granted a reprieve thanks to the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. Recently, his astrologer and lawyer gave him the OK to finally tie the knot with the love of his life. Instead of being excited, Sumit secretly went behind Jenny's back and withdrew the paperwork. It is pretty obvious to fans that Sumit has no intention of getting married. J.A.Y. Smith Jay will forever be known as Ashley Martson's former love interest, and the Jamaican man just called and keep it in his pants. Shortly after the couple exchanged wedding vows in Las Vegas, Jay was caught using the dating app, Tinder. Ashley miraculously forgave her young husband, but this would not be the last time Jay broke his wife's trust. After another cheating scandal that was caught on film by his barber, Ashley finally filed for divorce. Fans felt that Jay was unable to overcome his addiction to other women, no matter how many times he apologized for being unfaithful. It was recently revealed that Jay cheated again, but not on Ashley. He stepped out on his new girlfriend, Kayla O'Brien. Lisa Ham. Baby girl Lisa Ham and 90 Day Fiance 2. Usman Sohoboy humors number one fan Lisa Ham was just a bit too much to handle, as she often came across as overbearing. Baby girl Lisa was often perceived as overly controlling on 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Day season 4. The self absorbed American woman was looking for a younger husband that she could influence. Fans watched as she flew to Nigeria to meet rapper Usman. However, her neediness and crude behavior quickly turned off the Nigerian, who was looking for a more subdued woman. Lisa's lack of ability to blend in by adjusting to the cultural differences was the straw that broke the camel's back. The two later broke up after Usman revealed that Lisa allegedly threatened to commit suicide. The former duo has become two of the most talked about franchise celebs, thanks to their many differences. 
Corey Rathuber. When it comes to his relationship with Evelyn Villegas, Corey Rathuber is a man with nine lives. Not only does he tolerate being insulted by his wife and her sisters, but he takes their verbal abuse with a smile. Throughout his time in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, he has wound viewers up, especially after he complained about their failing relationship, even though it was revealed that he cheated on her at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Corey and Evelyn first met while she was studying in Washington, but the Ecuadorian always made it clear that she would return to her home country. Instead of enjoying a shorter romance, Corey decided to set himself up for failure by following her back to Engabao. The model has stood strong in terms of showing contempt for Corey, but the American continues to pine for her nonetheless. For many 90-day fiancé, the other way viewers, Corey is damaging his relationship by allowing himself to be treated like a doormat. Evelyn has always maintained an apathetic attitude towards her now husband, and fans believe she kept him around because he would send her money for their bar. Even though Evelyn is not blameless, she has been called out for her ungrateful attitude, most believe Corey should call his love affair off and move back home. Big Ed Brown. The San Diego native came in hot as he revealed to fans on 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 4, that he was in love with Rosemarie Vega. Rose hailed from the Philippines and was young enough to be his daughter. The 31 year age difference was cause for concern for most TLC viewers, who felt Big Ed was self sabotaging his chances of building a meaningful connection. Even though fans first sympathized with his lack of dating experience, they soon began to turn on him after he insulted Rose's hygiene and home. He also came across as manipulative. Even though his antics may be entertaining on reality TV, viewers knew their relationship didn't stand a chance. While most fans tune in to see these relationships crash and burn, some of the stars seem to enjoy failing at love a little bit too much. There is no doubt that there will always be a few bad apples who are looking for their 15 minutes of fame. 90 Day Fiancé viewers doubt most of these offenders have learned their lessons. They think they'll continue to revel in their troubled relationships while the cameras roll.